Hello and welcome to How To Legacy, a video on the Legacy of Breton event happening in Elder Scrolls Online from November 21st to December the 3rd. We're heading back to High Isle and Galen to get prizes and other good things during the event. So to start off with this event, to participate in it, you will have to do daily quest, kill bosses, and adventure throughout High Isle and Galen to get coffers that will give you goodies. Here is where you can pick up your daily repeatable quest in the High Isle. These are the people and the map of their location. I also have on there uh, where you can get the daily quest for Tales of Tribute because those will count towards coffers that you can get during the event. And this is the location of all the world bosses, delves, and volcanic vents that you can go to to also get prizes and complete the daily quest as well. Here in these are the NPCs for the Galen daily quest. And this is their location. They're located in one area. And this is the map to show you all the delves, volcanic vents, and world bosses in Galen that you can go to to also get prizes just like in High Isle. You can also complete the weekly trial quest from the Dread Cell Reef trial. You do need to have, as I said, the High Isle chapter to do any of this event, so do keep that in mind. I'm pretty sure they're going to be having a cell for the High Isle chapter if you haven't purchased it yet. But this is getting back to our discussion on where you can get prizes from. This is the map. You can see the location of the trial. It's that blue dot right there. If you go there and complete the weekly challenge, you will then get a weekly coffer from that person. There are two different coffers that you can get. When you complete your first daily quest, you'll get a glorious coffer. After you complete your first daily quest, you'll get a regular coffer. You can also get these from other places, which I'll bring up in a moment. You can also get a glorious dungeon coffer after completing the first dungeon or the Dread Cell Reef trial. So these will be Coral Airy, Shipwright's Regret, Earth, Earthen Root, Enclave, and Garvin Deep. Those dungeons which came out during the High Isle chapter, will give you the dungeon coffers. After you complete the first dungeon, you'll get purple coffers afterwards. So the glorious and regular coffers may contain the following. Crafting materials, set and style items from High Isle and Galen. So if you're doing the daily quest, like the delve, world boss, the volcanic vent, you will get these specific motifs from there. Uh, Sybaric Marine, Sistress Guardian, Steadfast Society, Ancestral Breton, House Morden, and Fire Song. You will also get set and style pages from Coral Aries, Shipwrights Regret, Earth Root Enclave, and Garvin Deep Dungeons, as well as the Dread Cell Reef Trial. When you get that golden coffer or the regular purple coffer, you have a chance to get these certain motifs Ascendant Order, Dread Cells, Ifrit's Will, and Drowned Mariner. The coffers will also hold treasure maps and surveys, furnishing recipes, companion gear, legacy of the Dorfunt style. That is the new style that you will be getting during this event. I have it up on the screen right now. And as well, motif chapters, the ones that I named earlier. Regular coffers can also be attained, as I said, in different areas. And these are those areas. Slaying delve bosses and world bosses in High Isle and Galen zones. Defeating Ascended Tide and Lost Deaths dungeon bosses. Clearing volcanic vents, slaying basic enemies, opening treasure chests, opening safe boxes, looting objects such as barrels, crates, etc., looting psychic portals, cracking open thieves' troves, harvesting resource nodes, 
and pickpocketing. During this event you will get double rewards. So defeating world bosses, volcanic vent bosses, and delve boss enemies in High Alun Galen will give you double rewards. Completing daily repeatable quests and High Isle and Galen will give you double the coffers. Double rewards for killing bosses with Dread Cell Reef trial and the weekly repeatable trial quest. Double yield from harvesting nodes. Double rewards for killing bosses within Coral Airy, Shipwrights Regret, Earth Root Enclave, and the Galvin Deep Dungeons. So if you haven't completed the sets for either High Isle and Galen or in those dungeons, this would be the time to do it. Alright, and that's all the prizes and goodies and how to get them. Let's move on to the Impresario. I am here in Belkarth right outside of Craglorn. This is my favorite place to come because not only do you have the Impresario, but you also have the Indrik Cellar right next to her. So let's get what she has and her goodies. During the Legacy of the Bretons event, you can earn two tickets per day per account by doing any of the following activities. Any Delve, World, or Volcanic Bent quest in High Oegelen, the weekly trial quest for Dread Cells, if it happens to be the first thing you do that day, killing and looting the final boss of any of the listed dungeons, and completing a Tales of Tribute daily quest against an NPC or another player will give you two event tickets. Alright, so during the event, you will be able to get a total of 26 tickets if you get them every single day. So that's from November 21st to December the 3rd, you will get 26 tickets. That means on December the 3rd, you have to complete a daily quest before... At least for me, it's 10 o'clock central time, 10 a.m. central time, and you'll be able to get another set of tickets on the 3rd. For me, it resets at 4 a.m. central time, the daily counter. So whatever that is in your time zone, if you want to figure that out, you know, that's how you can get your extra two tickets on the 3rd. Alright, so the Impresario will be selling the Molig Ball Illusion Pet and its Fragments. Each of those will cost 5 tickets. She will also have Haven of the 5 Companion Fragments. I believe they will be selling the next key. I am not 100% sure if they're going to sell 2 keys, 2 new keys. They sold 2 keys last event, they may sell two keys this event so do keep that in mind each of those keys cost 10 tickets so to get all the keys if you didn't get any last event it'll be 40 tickets altogether you can also purchase legacy of the darfon style pages each of those will cost five tickets group repair kits and companion commendations those will each cost two for the kits and three for the commendations and as I said before, I like coming to Belkarf because right next to it is the Indrik vendor. As you can see here, she will be selling uh, feathers and berries used to craft the Indrik mounts. The Nisik Indrik feathers will give you the Nisik Indrik, that's the base Indrik. And then she'll be giving you the berries for the pure snow and crimson Indrik, which you can see here are the two that are standing there. She'll also be selling the frost light Indrik pet and the rose thorn Indrik pet. Those I believe each cost five tickets as well. The berries cost 10 tickets and the feathers cost five each. And last but certainly not least, we have her assistant here. He will be selling unstable morphid fragments, three of them, each costing five tickets. He will also be selling the draconic quagstaff fragments, those each cost 10 tickets. Soul dragon illusion fragments, those will cost five tickets. And the dagger fall paladin fragments, which will each cost 10 tickets. And there you have it, ladies and gents. That's how you can have a legacy with the Bretons in this event for ESO. Remember, the event is from November 21st to December the 3rd. 
so go ahead and go and get your tickets you'll get your first set of tickets two tickets per day from completing a daily quest the trial or dungeon in the high aisle chapter if this video did help you out and you enjoyed these dosed tones then hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell and do whatever else you do guys the man of you like leaving a comment and liking the video so that way other people can see I do hope you did enjoy this I'll put a little bubble up there at the top to my playlist for the how-to videos if you want to see how any of the older events have gone by but of course my friends you know I will always see you out wandering in the fields of Tamriel but remember someone out there appreciates you because I appreciate you may Azor's glow guide you ever warmly bye